Okay, today we are going to look on how to formulate a general quadratic formula. Uh, we have given this equation, given this uh, equation, ax square plus bx plus c equals to, to zero. Uh, this is, uh, we are going to formulate a general quadratic formula. Then there are several steps in on formulating the general quadratic formula. Step number one is to divide a by a throughout. Then ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. Then let's divide by a both sides. By a, by a, by a, by a. Then this one, this one will cancel out remain is x square plus bx over a plus c over a equals to then in this one over this one equal to zero so that is step one then step two is to subtract c over a from both sides then x square plus bx over a then we subtract c over a to both sides c over a to both sides we go to zero minus c over a then we remain with x square plus bx over a so c over a minus c over a will cancel out since this is a negative this is a positive so we cancel out we remain with zero minus c over a it will be negative c over a after there, then uh, we add a, a certain number to both sides, to this side and this side, left hand side and right hand side. We add a certain number. Then x square plus bx over a. Then we add a certain number. Let's say this to be a certain number equal equals to c over a. We add a certain number in both sides. Then after adding a certain number to both sides, then we make the left hand side to be perfect square. The left hand side to be perfect square. Since the formula for the perfect square is b square equals to 4ac. So we are finding c. So in order to, to put this uh, number, then c c equals to b over over 2 a bracket then square after there After that, we add this is c to both sides. Then we add x square plus b x over a plus a certain number, which is c. Then our c will be b over 2a bracket square equals to negative c over a plus this a certain number, which we have added previously. Then b over 2a, then square then after there uh, after there we make after there we factorize the left hand side we factorize the left hand side by doing this x plus b over 2a square once we expand this equation we get it this one so equals to c over a negative c over a plus b over 2a bracket square then after that stage we write x plus b over 2a bracket square equal to b over 2a bracket 
square minus c over a. So you can write in this way. So after doing so, you simplify the left hand side. By simplifying the left hand side, you shall get x plus b over 2a bracket square equals to b square over 4a square minus c over a. Then after that stage, uh, we are going to take a, uh, to take a square root of uh, a square root to both sides. Then x plus b over 2a bracket square equals 2. Then the uh, lowest common multiple of b square over 4a square minus c over 2 over a will be uh, 4a. Then 4a dividing by 4a square will get uh, a. Then a times b square will get uh, will be 4a square. Then 4a square divided by 4a square will get 1. Then 1 times b square will get b square. Then 4a square divided by a will get what? Will get 4a. 4a times c will get 4ac. Then taking a square root to both sides. It means we are we we do take x plus b b over two two a bracket squared equals to b square minus four a c over 4a square. It means we do times to both sides by a half to both sides by a half to both sides. It means this two and this two will cancel out. Then we shall remain with we shall remain with x plus b over 2a bracket equals to b square minus 4ac over 4a square in under root of which means uh, the meaning of this of this square root it means equal to a half so instead of writing this one writing this sort of square root then x plus b over 2a equals to square root of b square minus 4a c over 4a square then after that stage before then once we put here a square root it means our answer can be positive or negative our answer can be positive or negative then x plus b over 2a equals to positive or negative of our under root b square minus 4ac then over 4a square then 4a square can, can be removed from our under root and, and we will remain, we'll remain with b x square plus b over 2a equal to plus or minus then under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then the 2a will be out of the under root because uh, we have removed it the out then uh, then taking uh, subtract b over a to both sides then once we subtract b over a to both sides we remain with uh, we subtract b over a to both sides equals to to negative or positive b square minus 4ac over 2a then minus b over 2a then after there <coughs> then b a positive b a over 2a positive b over 2a minus b over 2a will cancel out will remain with x equals 2 positive or negative bracket not yes under root of b square minus 4ac 
over 2a then minus b over 2a because our equation have got the same uh, lowest common multiple multiple then you will write as x equals to uh, you can start with this one negative b plus or minus this one under root or square root of b square minus 4ac over our lowest common multiple which is 2a then then our general uh, quadratic formula for finding the loop then uh, on reaching this stage x equal to negative b plus or minus <coughs> under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so the general quadratic formula for finding the root from this ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero will be will be x equals to negative b plus or minus the under root or square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so this is the general formula okay let, let us see how to use a general formula for solving a quadratic equation so let's look on example uh, example then um, 6x square plus 11x plus 4 equals to 0 then we are going to use a general formula for solving a quadratic equation then which is x equals to negative b plus or minus the under root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then from our example here now uh, from uh, our examples 6x square plus 11x plus 4 equals to 0 this is uh, we can compare with this equation general general question of quadratic bx plus c equals to 0 where a equals to 6 then b equals to 11 then c equals to 4 then from our general equation x equals to negative then b equals to 11 11 plus or minus the under root of b equals to 11 then 11 squared minus 4 times a is equal to 6 then c equals to 4 over 2 times a which is which is equal to 6 then x equals to 11 plus or minus then under root of then 11 square will get 121 then minus 4 times 6 times 4 and 9 to 6 over 2 times 6 you get 11, uh, uh, 12 then x equals to negative 11 plus or minus then 121 121 minus uh, 96 you will get 25 of 11 then x equals to negative 11 plus or minus then the under root of 25 is 5 of 11 this is coming from this uh, uh the under root of 25 equals to the one to write this one five uh the exponent of five of two then times what times a half we get what five then x equals to negative 11 plus or minus what five over 11. so after reaching that stage after reaching that stage, then x 
equals to negative 11 plus or minus 5 over 12. Then we start with positive. Then x equals to negative 11 plus 5 over 11. 12. Or negative 11 minus 5 over 12. Then our x will be the negative 11 plus 5 will get negative 6 over 12. Or negative 11 minus 5 will get negative uh, 16 over 12. Then our answer will be x equals to negative a half once you simplify or uh, once you simplify here or you will get a negative 8 over 6 or we get negative 4 over 3 then x equals to negative a half or negative 4 over 3 so that is the answer of this equation uh, that is uh, 6x squared plus 11x plus 4 equals to 0. So, so the answer of this equation will be x equal to negative half or negative 4 over 3.